Now let's look at examples on continuity. If f of x is given as a function which is mod x by x, and what is mod x? If you give a negative number inside it, it is going to give you a positive number, right? Mod x by x is that. Now is it continuous x at x equal to 0? There are various ways of seeing it. One way is if you directly substitute you know, x f of 0, if you find out f of 0, it is going to be 0 by 0, which means it doesn't exist, right? So whenever it is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, you can directly say that it doesn't exist and you can say that it is not continuous. But then other way of doing it is find out the left hand limit and find out the right hand limit and you see whether both of these are equal or not. If both of these are unequal, then you can say that they are not continuous, right? So let me find out left hand limit of this. So left hand limit at x equal to 0 is, in order to find out left hand limit, I am going to find it out at a minus h. If I am going to find the continuity at a, I have to take it at a minus h, right? So since I am taking it at 0, then I have to find out 0 minus h for a small value of h. Okay, so in place of x, if I substitute 0 minus h, I want to see what happens. Okay, so limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is nothing but limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h, which is nothing but in place of x, I am going to substitute 0 minus h. And what is h? A small value, right? So in place of x, in this one, I am going to substitute 0 minus h and for a small value of h. Now, what is it? 0 minus h divided by 0 minus h, but there is a mod here. So whenever I apply mod, and what is h? h is a small error which is positive, and minus h is negative, and therefore it is entirely converted to positive. See, whatever is inside it, outside it should be a positive number. Therefore, mod of minus h is going to be h. h divided by minus h is minus 1. Therefore, left hand limit happened to be minus 1. Now we shall find out what is right hand limit. So how to find it out? In place of x, substitute 0 plus x, 0 plus h for a small value of h. So right hand, right hand limit, limit x tends to 0 plus f of x equal to, you have to substitute in place of x, 0 plus h. So why 0 plus h? Because we are talking about a point 0, right? In case if you are talking about here, you could have write, written it as a plus h, right? for a small value of h. Now what do we get? You know, in place of that expression mod x by x, if you substitute 0 plus h in place of x, you are going to get this one. Now if you observe it, it is going to be h by h. And since h is already positive, we need not multiply with minus 1. So you are directly going to get it as h by h, which means 1. Now if you observe it, left hand limit and right hand limit, both are different, both are not equal, right? So you can, here also you can say that this way, it is not continuous. Either directly by getting 0 by 0, you could have said that, otherwise you could do this and say it, okay? So it is discontinuous. Now looking at this one, f of x is 2x plus 3 for x less than 0, like than 3, okay? One more thing, here if you want to see graphically what they mean by this, now, if you have x here and x here and f of x here, right? Now they are saying that if x is less than 0, see here I got this, right? Left hand limit is nothing but for x is less than 0, which means left side of the 0, the value is minus 1, which means here I am going to get the value as f of x value as minus 1, right? <coughs> yeah, here. Right? And now for right hand side of 0, the value of f of x is plus 1. Right? But then at 0, it is not defined. Right? Which means there is a gap between these two points. Right? Or if you see that there is a jump right suddenly. That is why it is not continuous. Now, look at this one. If f of x equal to 2x plus 3, when x is less than 0, and f of x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and f of x equal to x square plus 3 when x is greater than 0. Then what is the value, whether it is continuous or not? How to find it out? Again, go with left hand limit and right hand limit and they are talking about the point 0. Therefore, while finding out left hand limit or right hand limit, we are going to substitute in place of x 0 plus h and 0 minus h like that. Okay. So now let's find out left hand limit at x equal to 0. So how to find it out? In order in place of x, you are going to substitute 0 minus h, isn't it? Because we want to find out at a point 0. Therefore, left hand limit is going to be at a point 0 minus h. So in this place, so 
at 0 minus h means it is less than 0 at less, less than 0 we are going to use this function got it so in this function in place of x we are going to substitute 0 minus h in this function in place of x I am going to substitute 0 minus h so I got this right and now so I got minus 2h and 3 plus 3 and this x is so small that I have to substitute 0 in place of h limit h tends to 0 then I am going to get 3 here therefore to the left side of it we got a value of 3 now let's see what we get at the right side of it at the right side means right side of 0 is nothing but greater than 0 we have to use this function right okay at the right side of it we have to deal with x no, at a point 0 therefore in place of x you are going to substitute 0 plus h got it so in place of h we are going to substitute 0 plus h so 0 plus h whole square plus 3 now limit h tends to 0 if you substitute it then you are going to get again 3 here so left hand limit equal to right hand limit both are equal to 3 but it is not equal to f of 0 right so according to the definition again we are going to see that it is not continuous got it so why is it not continuous is if you observe it if you see 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 is going to be something like this if you say f of x and if you have x like this 2x plus 3 is going to be some line like this okay and this is going to be 3 and now x square plus 3 is going to be a line like this right now if you observe it they are saying that to the left of 0 the value is 3 and to the right of 0 the value is 3 but then at the point equal to 0 the value is 0 so if you see this it is suddenly falling down and again jumping there got it from 3 to the left of 0 at 0 it is falling down to 0 and again it is jumping down to plus 3 again it is going that way right therefore it is not defined or you can say it is not continuous okay okay fine